here we are, leaving the Flying J in Ogden, Utah. Look at those gorgeous mountains. We just had the sweetest little reunion with Clydesdale, who happened to be here at the same time as us. Um, we knew that because of our YouTube channel commenting back and forth watching each other's videos and by the way you should go check out Clydesdale's channel. Clydesdale like the horse. Um, yeah he's new at Leonard's trucking and his vlogs are awesome. Now listen right after that amazing event uh, we have a problem on the truck. <laughs> I think it's about to explode. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Yeah, hey, welcome to the joy of trucking. Beep, 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 Kevin. Yes. Tell us the story of what just happened at this Flying J when we went inside. We were inside. Oh! So, uh, I was waiting for Tanya to come out of the bathroom. I was standing by the coffee machine, and there was a guy giving the cashier a hard time. And she, the last thing I heard was she's like, well, you're the one that wanted the cops. And then he and then he left and then she was telling somebody else's story so I started I started talking to her so uh, a guy pulled up at the fuel lane but there was somebody in front of him who seemed to be taking a long time like maybe taking his 30 I don't know the whole story but I've seen that happen a lot but anyway the guy who came up was uh, getting very impatient with the whole thing and was quite upset and so he when he got the opportunity to pull up, he actually blocked the other guy who was who was frustrating him. So the guy couldn't couldn't move. I don't. She said he blocked his door too, so he couldn't even get out of his truck. And then he did. The two of them got out somehow and had a verbal thing going on. And then the first guy who, who was doing the blocking actually shoved the other guy. You mean the one that did the initial blocking or the second? The blocking? guy. The guy who came up and had to wait for the other guy, and then he blocked the guy, and then he got out and shoved the guy when they were talking. Oh my. And from what the cashier said, the other guy was twice his size. He's lucky he didn't get laid out on the pavement there. But then the guy who was, you know, frustrated and everything came in and told the cashier, you know, you should be dealing with this, and you should be telling him, and you need to call the cops. And she's like, Okay, well, I'll call the cops. It's not like the cops can charge a guy with being in the fuel lane too long, but yeah, we'll call the cops. And the cops came, so both the guys waited. And the cops came and told the guy that he was the problem because he was the one blocking the other guy. He was the one shoving the other guy and everything. You know, it was... It was just a, a bad case of road rage at the old fuel lane, and then the, and then the guy was... He got out of hand. You yeah. know, he may have been in the wrong to begin with, but then he became the no, problem. he was in the right to begin with. He, yeah. He was in the right because he was blocked in, and it's not cool to take your 30 in the fuel lane, and right. it does frustrate people a lot. I've gotten frustrated. Yep. I yelled at a guy once. <laughs> yeah. But you should then not use the same method and block them, and you sure shouldn't shove them. And you got to realize, like, like the cashier said, the whole thing's on camera. We have video cameras watching the fuel lanes. And the cops can access that, and, it, you know, they did. Yeah. And that's why they told him, you know, he, he was the one in the wrong. Yeah. Cannot. Because of the action he took. Cannot hunt the people down, block them in, and then shove them. That is not cool. But anyway, so, yeah, yeah, hey, please don't take your 30 in the fuel lane. Please take some anger management classes, do some deep breathing. There's a lot of frustration in trucking. It's just part of it, and you can't let it get to you. And, <laughs> and don't don't become the problem. Think about what you're doing. You know? Yeah. Keep keep a little head. If you if you're gonna do stuff like that, you know, out in the open in public, I wonder I wonder how you're driving your truck, how you're treating other people on the road. Yeah. Or what you're doing at home. Yeah. Not cool. Not cool. All right. So, hey, thought we'd bring you that little bit of drama. <laughs> Here at the joy of trucking, and that's it. So now we're gonna have a beautiful ride back along I. Look at what are we on? We're on I-15 all the way to Ontario, California. The scenery is gonna be awesome. The weather is gonna be perfect. I love a road trip, and this is the ideal road trip right here. It's absolutely beautiful here, and snow on the mountains. We gotta also 
also head back through the Virgin River Gorge, which is beautiful. The gorge is gorgeous. Yeah, we're going through Las Vegas. If we have time, we'll go through tonight when it's all lit up. Oh boy, love that. Love that, love yeah. that. Too bad I don't have more storage available on my phone. Yeah, you need a bigger yeah. phone. All right, so speaking of that, the video is far from over, so even though he's gonna do the dance, don't click away yet. We're gonna go all the way to Whiskey Pete's. Thumbs up, comments below, hit the button, ring that notification bell. Bye for now. Yeah, and tell us, have you seen Road Rage? Have you lost your cool? <laughs> tell us your stories down in the comment section. We always appreciate reading your stories and keep a cool head out there. Eat your celery. Eat your vegetables. Eat your vegetables. Breathe deeply. Lay off the sugar. I think uh, get enough sleep. Yeah. All right. Let's go. And if you're feeling a little road ragey, here's some, some intense music to work it out with. Now take a deep breath, here's your cool down. Thanks for riding with us.